Hello everyone. So in this video, we will be completing our fragment classes. But before that, I must tell you, I tried to run this application and I encountered with an error. And apparently that error occurred because go into the nav graph and here our name of the argument is note. But the compiler is confusing this with the class note. So what we can just do is just type it in the lower case and this will solve the error. So just click on update and let's try to run this again. And now as you can see, there is no error. So let's just move on, close the emulator, close this window and go to the node fragment class. And here we will open the on view created function. And now, first of all, what we want is view model. So write val view model by view models. And inside the angle brackets, just write the name of our view model class. So that will be node view model. And now what we want is binding. So write val binding that will be equals to fragment nodes binding dot bind and inside the parenthesis write require view. Now we will open the binding dot apply block and here we will set up the recycler view. So write recycler view nodes dot layout manager and in this time we won't be using the linear layout manager because we want our nodes in a grid view manner. So we will use the grid layout manager and inside the parentheses just pass the context comma and the span count will be two. And again recycler view dot set has fixed size will be true. And now here we will be implementing the on click listener on our floating action button. So write add button dot set on click listener. And we will be navigating the user to the, uh, the other fragment. So write val action equals note fragment directions. So our safe arcs plugin will generate these classes. And if you can see these classes, so just uh, build the application once more and it will be there. So nodes fragment directions dot and here is our action. And inside the parentheses, we have to pass a node, but this time we are not passing anything. So just null. And now write find nav controller dot navigate and inside this pass the action. So now moving on, we will open a uh, coroutine scope. So just write view lifecycle owner dot lifecycle scope dot launch. And here we will be collecting our nodes in the form of flow uh, from the view model. So write view model dot notes dot collect. And it will provide us with the list of nodes. So we can just pass this list to the nodes adapter. So write val adapter is equals to note adapter and in the inside the parentheses, we will pass the list. So we will just name this list notes and pass the notes here. And now what it wants is a listener. So you can just go over here and this class will also extend the listener. So write on note click listener 
and here just pass that listener by writing this this at node fragment and now we can just implement the functions so alt enter and implement these functions and we will go to them later so here we have created the adapter variable and now just attach the this adapter to our recycler view so recycler view notes dot adapter and that will be equals to adapter and we will now open another coroutine scope so just write view model view lifecycle owner dot lifecycle scope dot launch and here we will be collecting our events and check if the event is to show the snack bar so just write view model dot notes event dot collect and we will name it event and now check if the event is note view model dot notes events dot show undo snack bar and if it is true we will show a snack bar so write snack bar dot make and inside the parentheses we want the view so write require view and we want the text so we have the text in our event so just write event dot message and lastly we want the duration so just write snack bar dot length long dot set action and inside the parentheses we'll just name the button so it will be undo and it will need a function so we'll just create a function outside and here just write view model dot insert node and we will just pass the node so write event dot node and write dot show so this will show the snack bar and now lastly we'll just go over to these functions and here in this function we will just be navigating the user to the other fragment and passing a note with it so we will so we will just write val action this will be equals to note fragment directions and dot the action and here we will pass our note and now write find nav controller dot navigate and pass the action this is and this is it for this function now the another one on note long click we will just use the view model to delete the note so just write view model and what we have to do is cut this view model from here and paste it here so we can use it so write view model dot delete node and pass our node and so that is it for this class and now moving on to the other class add edit node fragment and here first of all just open on view created and now here again we need the view model so write val view model and write by view models and write the name of our view model class and that is node view model and now we want the binding so write val binding 
x equals to fragment add edit notes binding dot bind and write require view and now this time we need the arguments too so just write val args and that will be add edit node fragment args by nav args and now we will just retrieve the node from the arguments so write val node is equals to args dot node and now we will check if the node is not null so if the node is not null we will just fill in the details in our ui so write if node is not equals to null i will open a binding dot apply and here just write title edit dot set text and that will be node dot title and now write content edit dot set text and that will be node dot content and now what we will do is set on click listener to a floating action button so write save button dot set on click listener and here we will just collect the information from our edit text so write val title and that will be equals to title edit dot text dot to string and similarly we'll get the content content edit dot text dot to string and now we will just make an updated note so to do that write val updated note and note dot copy and inside the parentheses we will pass our new values so we will keep the id same but for the title we will be passing the new title and same for the content content is equals to content and for date we'll be passing the current time so system dot current time in millis and then we'll use the view model to update this note and pass the updated note and now we will write else and if the note is null then we have to do nothing but just collect the new note and insert it so just write binding dot apply and our save button dot set on click listener and that will be val title is equals to title edit dot text dot to string similarly for the content we'll get the content so content edit dot text dot to string and now we'll just insert this so So just make a new node. So val node is equals to node. Import this. And in this node for title, we'll be passing the title. For the content, we'll be passing the content. And for the date, we'll just write system dot current time in millis and now here as you can see 
it is expecting the parameter id so just go over to our entity class node and just write equals to zero and so now we will just use the view model dot insert node and just pass our new node and now after all of this just go to the bottom and here let's make some space and here just open our coroutine scope so view lifecycle owner dot lifecycle scope dot launch and here we will just collect the event so write view model dot notes event dot collect and here just check if the event so just write event so if the event is node view model dot notes event dot navigate to notes fragment and if it is we will just navigate it to the notes fragment so write val action and that will be add edit node fragment directions dot add edit node to node fragment and there is no argument so just write find nav controller dot navigate and pass this action and so this is it for our application so let's just finally run it and check if there are any errors so just run this application now and so now as you can see there are no nodes so let's just add one so click on this button write title so we will be just writing example notes example note and example content and we'll just click on this button and here as you can see we have got the note so now let's try to add another one so let's see just write friends and you can write the name ross rachel and just click ok and as you can see our app is working you can obviously give margins to these uh, items so let's just do that also so just go over to the item notes and here in the card view we'll just give a little margin so margin 8dp and let's rerun this application now and so now it looks better so this is it for this series and so if you like this series you can share this with uh, your friends and see you in the next video so till then have a nice day